sorry. So, so, so sorry. That was possibly the most embarrassing landing ever. Oh, I'm so sorry. What's that? I have permission to invite you in to look around, if you're interested. These outfits are for observers to wear, to make sure we don't distract the students inside. Students? Then does that mean this place is a school? Yes. On Earth, you'd call it a school, but here it's more like a, you know... Let's see, how exactly do I put this? No, whatever! Uh, ah! Come on, let's just get in there and check it out. Of course. I'm sorry. Uh, so, oh. so sorry. You don't have to apologize, you know. Oh, you're right. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> this educational facility is strictly for the elites. The elites? So then, this must be a school for kids who already know they have a great future ahead of them? Not exactly. I guess you could say this school helps develop the truly elite. And now, consider this planet here. These inhabitants diversify into different nations and ethnic groups under the guidance of a messiah or spiritual leaders. They also come to possess different religious beliefs as a result of these teachings. It is through this guidance and the education of the soul that God's intention to nurture the spirit becomes evident. However, because some cannot understand the concept of the education of the soul, tragic wars and disputes arise. What is necessary is the people... Along with academics, of course, they have sports, ethics, art, government, and religion. In other words, the students here learn and grow in order to fulfill their noblesse oblige and deepen their study of human nature. So what does noblesse oblige mean? The belief that it's the obligation of those with more to help those with less. The curriculum here trains the students to think with a selfless nature by giving them a spiritual education. Ultimately, these pupils will become spiritual leaders of the cosmos and individual planets. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. But what should we do? It's my fault. We must have been over capacity. I'll have to call someone for repairs. I'm so sorry. Are you saying you can't get us back home? I'm afraid so. <sighs> <sighs> this really sucks. Oh, look! Here comes your ship, Miss Anna. My ship? Yoo-hoo! Over here! I'll head back as soon as I get this ship fixed. You kids better get aboard this one. Well, this one definitely looks like a better ride. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. You know, I think I actually like your ship even better. <laughs> and thanks a lot. Hey, I'm glad that you came to answer my soul's request. I feel like I've been given a lot of information about my future. And that's going to help out a lot. In fact, feel free to borrow my body anytime. But let's keep that on the down low. <laughs> Thank you, big bug. You're welcome. There's nobody here. Huh? Oh. <laughs> here comes your ship, Miss Anna! It is the ship that will take you to your original home. You're safe here. <gasps> That's right. We're answering each of your thoughts one at a time. That sounded like my voice. And that was Ray's voice earlier, too. And now this is your voice. So are we on our way back to Earth? If you don't mind, we'd like to take a little detour. <sighs> Let's pay a visit to Vega.
You see what's inside your heart, Anna? In my heart? Yes. And when your heart changes, so does the world. <gasps> Who is she? She must be from Vega. But she looks like she's from Earth. Huh. She seems familiar to me. that you might have forgotten who I was, but you didn't. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? <gasps> That's Anna when she was a little kid. I've seen the photos before, but how is that even possible? Anything is possible, but it seems most people on Earth only believe in things they can see. Even if you see it, you still don't believe it. with your own eyes is what you think is the real you. <gasps> that is all that prevents you from seeing your true self. your true potential you become invincible huh? how did we end up in such a weird place hmm. huh? hello everyone I hope we didn't frighten you too much uh, uh. But even if you were on Earth, you would experience something similar to this when you returned to the spirit world. That's me! And that's me. Uh. 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 We look good uh. together, don't you think? Earth has some terrible things happening right now, doesn't it? Some people just live their lives and die, never realizing that they were born from the spirit world. It can be difficult for them to understand while in physical form. Often they refuse to believe even after experiencing their true spirit selves. Crazy, right? Yes, but <laughs> I do believe in the spirit world. What about reincarnation? Reincarnation? I don't know much about that. <laughs> Reincarnation is the Buddhist philosophy where humans are reborn many times between this world and the next. And I agree. Huh? I get the feeling that I was an aristocrat or king in a past life. <laughs> you guessed correctly, huh? You were an aristocrat in your past life. Seriously? Is that so hard to imagine? People are reborn in different countries and eras as they accumulate experiences for growth. These are the core principles and teachings of reincarnation, a cycle of perpetual rebirth. But when the time comes for them to be reborn, they must forget everything they know and start their lives anew once again. But why is that? Because that is the rule on Earth. Wait, what do you mean? What we mean is, the whole challenge of being in human form is key to remembering your spirit self. <sighs> Whoa, but wait, that's way too difficult. It's impossible. I understand. It's certainly as difficult on Earth today as we know it. Uh -huh. Just mentioning aliens or the spirit world can be controversial. It can get you laughed at too, <gasps> which is unfortunate because throughout life, people have been given different opportunities to remember their true selves and the spirit world. <laughs> Haley. And since they are unable to remember, they find themselves in conflict over different philosophies, 
and harbor animosity toward each other, unaware that they were once families and friends in their past lives. You see? It's such a pity. That's because you've all forgotten your true selves. Our true selves? What do you mean? I don't understand. Who are you? When looking at me, what you actually see is you, reflected back. <gasps> Try to remember your own true self, the truth of your soul within you. Now, there are people who are waiting for you on Earth. 